Hello, my friends. I am here to talk to you about how you can make some lifestyle booklets at home. I know a lot of you like to do this activity, and we've had a chance to talk about things like turtles and monarch butterflies and chickens and other animals at school. So I um, will share with your parents um, a sheet. Actually, I think they're about three pages with some different animals. I have cut mine into strips so that I can look at just one animal at a time, but like here is a silkworm moth. Here's one for frog. And today I wanna to talk about the praying mantis. We haven't had a chance to talk about this animal um, much at school. And um, it goes through a um, huge metamorphosis like most insects do in its life cycle. And first you have the mother will lay an egg case. She can lay 10 to 400 eggs. It's really astonishing. Uh, the eggs come out as hatchlings, uh, very tiny. And then they change into the nymph and it spends most of the summer in the nymph form. And it will um, eat things at the beginning like aphids, small grasshoppers, um, flies, uh, they're very good predators and it will change sometimes 12 times. It will molt and um, go through transformation as it gets older until it is the adult praying mantis. And um, the adult praying mantis is a really good predator. It will eat almost anything it can, can get into its body like butterflies, beetles, spiders, crickets, um, grasshoppers. And some are even large enough that they can eat frogs, mice, lizards, and some even eat hummingbirds. Um, their uh, four legs have um, spines so they can grasp onto their prey uh, and eat them. So they're really um, very interesting animals. And you see we have a head, thorax, and abdomen like other um, insects that we have talked about, that insects have six legs and they have three body parts. So those are some things um, to remember about um, the praying mantis. Um, so at school, we use the metal inset paper, but today I wanna show you how we can fold this in half and then in half again so that it's in fourths and then we'll be able to cut it. So um, you can cut it or your parents can help you cut it. I have some scissors. I don't have child size scissors. You should certainly use child size scissors to cut. So I'm going to cut first the paper in half. And then I'm going to cut this paper in half again. And then I've got one more to cut. Now I have four pieces of paper. So, of course, we talked about that the first um, stage in the life cycle of the praying mantis is the egg sac. So I see that it is attached to a branch or a stick, so I'm going to draw that. I have my stick. And then I'm going to do my egg sac. It has lots of brown parts. And then I see some yellowy parts. And there is the egg case. Okay. So I'm going to write egg case, of course, in cursive. Some of you may just want to put the E eh for egg or might put the E eh and the K for egg case. So that is the first stage in the praying mantis life cycle. 
Now we want to do the hatchlings. Again, I want a branch. And then I see um, some of just the area of the egg case. And then I'm seeing lots of little creatures that are coming out. And you can add as many of them. Remember, they can lay 10 to 400 eggs, so they come out of the hatchlings. And then here, I'm gonna write hatchlings. It begins with the right? There's the hatchlings. Hatchlings. There are the hatchlings. So I have the egg case and I have the hatchlings now. Now I want to do the nymph. And I like this picture because it shows a human finger. So you can see how tiny the nymphs can be, really small. So really little creature. But I see it has kind of a triangular shaped head. I'll give it some eyes. They have antenna for smelling. have really thin thorax and then this really unusual unusually shaped um, abdomen and they have um, their legs so they have one two three four and then the front five, six. I'll shade it a little bit. So there is my nymph. I drew it a little big so that you could see it. I'll put the human finger here though, just for fun. I like that part of the picture. So there I put the human fig finger and I will add nymph. N -i -n -th. Nymph are the sounds I need. There is my nymph. Now I finally get to do my favorite part, the praying mantis itself. Like I said, they really are so interesting. So I'm gonna use green this time. The praying mantises I've seen out in the garden are usually green. So again, thin thorax. So a lot of praying mantises, when they get big enough, they have um, wings. In addition to having the six legs, not all praying mantises have wings, but most of them do. Okay, Here's some lighter green just for fun. I'm use light green for the thorax. Go back to dark green for part of the head. Now, I'm going to put the four legs. I'm gonna put some spines on them just for fun. That's how they grasp their prey. And then I will do their 
middle legs and their hind legs. So there is my praying mantis and it has one, two, three, four, five, six legs. That is one of the ways that we know that it is an insect. So another characteristic of an insect is that it has no backbone, which means it's an invertebrate. I'm going to write praying mantis. So we have the first sound, p, 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 praying, p, er, a, ing, mantis, m, a, m, t, i, s, praying mantis. Another interesting thing about the praying mantis is that is it is diurnal, which means that it is active during the day. So I have my four stages of the life cycle of the praying mantis. And before I started recording, I used um, a big piece of red paper and I folded it and I cut it just like I did the white paper as I showed you earlier. So I have two covers now. I do have a stapler at my house. If you don't have a stapler, maybe you can use a paper clip or a rubber band to keep your booklet together. There we go. And um, what is my book about? My book is about the life cycle of the praying mantis. So that's what I'm going to write. Life cycle, cycle of the praying a ing mantis. And I can write by Sherry. So, and you can decorate the cover of your booklet. What is this booklet about? Praying mantises. So maybe my decorations will have eggs or nymphs or egg cases or gardens where praying mantises live. Um, so that will make it very interesting. So I enjoyed making a booklet with you and I look forward to seeing the booklets that you make at home.